up guys welcome back to GP Snakes I'm Gershon and in this video I'm showing you how to make budget friendly ID cards for your snakes um, everything I got is from the dollar store uh, I'll give you a list of everything uh, and show you what it, it all costs a dollar it's a dollar store but uh, <laughs> Yeah, this is just an idea I had because just in case my wife has to come do something, I want to be able to just tell her what snake and she can do it with that snake with no problem. And that is the plan. So let's get into it and I'll show you guys made. But if you're new to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you like what we're doing over here. Hit the like button to show your support and tell everybody you know about the channel and share it to everybody you know. All right guys, we're trying to hit a thousand subscribers this year and maybe hit that watch time. So hit, repeat the channel, all of it. But without further ado, let's get into this in, this DIY of these uh, ID cards. I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> let's go. All right, here is first page of the start of the ID cards. So I'm gonna print the other pages and then we're gonna get to assembling. So stay tuned. All right guys, now we have the board and we gotta cut these up we're gonna do some magic editing and so now we are going to um, this first time I'm doing it so we're gonna put it like these I think you guys can see that we're gonna try to make them as even as possible give them space between each one probably don't need that much space actually even as possible space space but you wanna I'm gonna try to have it have space I'm blowing out this paper uh, between the foam board and the paper so when you tape it you can run a card over the paper so it can kind of stay on the paper or laminate the foam board so it's a different way of laminating to an extent and I figured doing it long ways to give you more area and you could do more at a time we'll see if this works though because this is the first time I'm trying to do it uh, we'll see how it works and I think that's all we can fit so now we got our tape and we're going to tape a piece we're going to try to tape all these down at once I kind of messed up but you can go over and get with tape so now we're gonna use this cool card from ridiculous reptiles go check them out Instagram all the info there some beautiful snakes we're trying to get him to do a YouTube channel but he wants to do it perfectly but I keep telling him just do it so go tell him to do it and maybe he'll get on top of it but Jeff definitely check out his Instagram so we're gonna take the card and kind of smash them down and I'm already seeing this is not working as I planned so there's trial and error in this we're gonna try to smooth it down and try to get it as smooth as possible I've already figured out a different way to do this now that I did it this first time where it doesn't mess up so bad like this and we get all of them in the right spot and I'm gonna do that on the next one I'm gonna show you my second idea of this but we're gonna keep going with this one and then you'll just cut those out but now let me show you a different idea I just got when I was doing that one and we're gonna see if it works so hold on. All right, guys it's time for another name my snake 
Yes, this is a series. Well, this is where I pick three names for you guys to pick uh, to vote on in the comments. That's all you have to do. Put the name you like in the comments of this video. And next Thursday, I'll announce what name got the most votes, and that will be that snake's name. So the snake up this time is my yellow belly orange dream fire female. Yes, a uh, new female. You guys seen her a little while back. But the names you get to pick from are these. So, like I say, just hit them in the comments. Put the name you like the best in the comments. And in a week, uh, next Thursday, we'll figure out what name won got the most votes and that will be that snake's name you guys seem to really dig doing this so i'm trying to keep it going i'm kind of running out of snakes to do it so we gotta have to buy more snakes but <laughs> thanks for doing it and let's get back to this video here's my second idea i pulled out the tape already got it you know extended the sticky side is up and now i'm gonna take these and stick it on the tape and then lay it on the paper. Uh, we'll see how that works. So let's see. Yep, you get a little easier in there. And if you can tell I use recycled paper, hey, if you got extra paper, don't waste it, use it. Sometimes I mess up when I'm photocopying uh, someone's birth certificate. And with those, I don't throw them away. I just put them uh, up to the side so I can use them for something else. Hey, there's no reason to waste materials if you can still use it. Especially when you're doing on the budget breeding at times and you're trying to maximize your money and use it where it's most important and if you can save a little money in other places why not do so so this one I think works a little better this way some of them are a little bigger than I would like but this one works I think a better way than the first way I was doing it see that one fits on just perfect And I think I'm gonna stop there just to be safe to make sure I have the right paper or it's long enough. So we're gonna take it. Yeah, that was a good thing to stop there. And we're gonna get it down. And I guess the first one you just kind of push it down just to be sure and I don't want to push down too much because I can probably use some of that so I'll just roll that back up and now you go with the card and go over it and try to get it to lay as flat as possible I hit the camera sorry guys uh, yeah there you go Trying to get it as flat as possible, but as straight as possible. And there you go. So now I'm gonna cut these out and see how they look and show you that. After you get them cut out, this is just a couple of them. Be careful to only cut the part that's not taped down because if you cut too far, you will lose the tape and it will flip over. So be careful with that. You might have to use some tape to tape a couple of them down. Like this one, I might have to tape down a little bit. But uh, after you do that, you take your Velcro. You take the, I decided, I did do this side first. That was a mistake. You use the, uh, I don't even know what it's called. Uh, the rough side, put that on the tub and put the soft side on the card itself. Uh, try to put it in the center of the card if you can. That's the best way to go with it. So we'll just show you right quick. Try to put it in the center if you can. That way it's kind of in the center in there. And then you put the rough part on the tub 
Oh, let's grab a tub and do that. Let's see if we get somebody that's not gonna go crazy. Oh, we got a clean tub. Well, an empty tub right here. So then you would put, I don't know if you guys can see the tub. I'm just sit it down for a second. You put that, try to measure it out so you kind of know where it's gonna go. And put that there. And there you go. Sticks on as so. Boom. Like I said, it is uh, budget friendly. It might not look the best, but it serves its purpose for now. So if you're on a budget, this is a great way to have ID cards and to scan. I did, I don't know if you can see it, uh, just take it off, make it easier. Oh, that Velcro came totally off. Well, well, make sure you push it down hard enough that the Velcro doesn't come off. <laughs> so we're going to fix that one later. <laughs> but I just put their birthdays, food item they eat, and their morph, sex, and their ID name. Uh, you can choose what you want to put on yours. That's totally up to you. But yeah. Those are the cards. All right, there you go. Um, DIY ID card for your snakes. Looks pretty decent, looks pretty good. Uh, it was my first time doing it, so there might be some bugs I'll figure out later. Uh, let me know how you guys feel about it. If you like it, if you like this, you want me to do more of these budget-friendly things, uh, DIY sort of things, I'll definitely be doing that. Also, um, I got, I won an uh, ink. Uh, what was it Inkbird uh, in uh, Ramel's giveaway on his channel YouTube channel uh, Morph Nation Reptiles? I swear that's the name. I'm pretty sure 100 sure. I blanked out when I was thinking about it because I was so keen to make sure I pronounced his name right, which I still think I pronounced it wrong. But yeah, I won in his giveaway he did. So thanks. I will be doing like a little review on this. I wanted one of these. Um, I just hadn't gotten around to getting it. Now I have one, so I'm gonna check it out. And my daughter's over there screaming, playing with her brother. Um, so thanks again. Uh, go check out his channel. Really good guy. He's doing really good this season. He's already got a couple ovulations, so go see what he's doing and check him out. He did some um, DMX video on Instagram too. Check that out. It's really funny, really cool. But thanks again for this. And thank you guys for checking out the channel. Appreciate all the support. As always, hit the share, like button, hit the subscribe button if you're new here, and tell everybody you know about the channel, and I'll see you guys next Thursday.